Iris, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an introduction to a new series that I want to start doing on my channel called Manicure Mondays. So I actually do a brand new manicure every single week and I've been doing this for a good while now and for pretty much that same amount of time I have wanted to document that and do videos on that for you guys so that you guys can see you know what new manicure I'm doing this week. Uh, but for whatever reason, I have just never done it. Maybe because I couldn't figure out exactly how to do it uh, without doing a lot of editing. But I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to figure it out. And I want to show you. Uh, I've already done my manicure for this week, but I wanted to share it with you. I'm going to actually turn the camera around here in just a second so you guys can get a better look at what I have done here and so I can give you kind of a little bit of a rundown on exactly what I've done so check it out okay so here is what the nails actually look like a little bit closer it's a cute little donut pattern these are actually a set of falsies that I bought gosh months and months ago I feel like I even uh, showed you these guys showed you guys these nails sorry it is late and I am ready for bed I think I showed you guys these nails when I bought them I showed them in a haul video uh, but I wanted to show you really quickly that these are actually a stiletto cut nail I'm going to try to show you on the nail that these are actually a stiletto cut now m a few months ago I was buying stiletto nails like crazy because I love the shape. I think they're really, really nice. I actually prefer an almond shaped nail and this is the closest that I can find without having to do a lot of shaping because sometimes I tend to overshape. Uh, and I figured that buying a stiletto would make it easier for me to do uh, an almond shaped nail and it is. However, this particular pattern because their, their tips don't exactly work for me to be uh, an almond shape because I would end up cutting off some of the design on the side uh, So it just wasn't gonna work that way for me. So I'm gonna show you what I did to customize these uh, and I'll tell you the other thing. I would love to wear these just just like that just as they're supposed to be but I have a four-year-old and One I would end up poking and scratching him like all the time but he is also in a car seat and there's no way that I can have that <laughs> on my thumbnail and get him out of a car seat. I don't know if you guys have uh, tried to get a toddler out of a car seat recently, but that little button on the seat belt is ridiculous. You, oh my gosh, <laughs> there's no way. I've popped so many thumbnails off when they were too long trying to get him out of a car seat. So I just, I can't do it. I can't do the length right now. Maybe when he gets older, I can go back to it. Uh, but let me show you really quickly what I did to customize these lengths. So after finding, you know, the right size for each one of the nails, I kind of pushed my cuticles back a little bit and go ahead and glue down my nail, let it get good and adhered, uh, and let the, the glue dry really good. And then after I have the nail on, I would take a pair of nail clippers. I'm actually going to demonstrate for you on one that is probably not going to fit anything. Actually, no, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm just going to show you on. Now, I have another one here. Then I don't think, well... No, they would fit too, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to show you on this one here how I did it. So after I got it on, I took a pair of nail clippers and I just cut them down until I got them down to a length that I liked. Uh, it was usually about one, yeah, about two clips until I got them down to the point that I wanted. And then I took my nail file and... Sh uh, Filed them down a little bit more until I got further down to the length that I wanted to. And then I kind of rounded out the edge a little bit. Because even though they are a square shape, I like my edges rounded. Uh, so I just shaped them in that way 
filed them down real good and then rounded my edges off a little bit. Um, I'll tell you, this is the only time that I can do my nails in this shape. Uh, it's when I have falsies on. And when I have my natural nails that have grown out to a good length, I cannot do a square cut uh, because they will split every time. And I'm not kidding you, right where the length starts, I will get a clean split on them every single time if I have them square. So I have to uh, have them, you know, a, a pretty good length. And then I can shape them like an almond, which is the shape that I prefer my nails to be in. But when I do falsies, this works better for me because if I file them down to this length, uh, they tend to stay on a lot better than if I had them long because, you know, you're picking things up and doing things with your nail and every time that this, you know, catches on something or bends up a little bit, you are compromising the integrity of that glue and you are causing the wear down of it. So, uh, I like to keep them at a short length squared off with rounded edges and that way they will stay on a little bit longer. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera back around so that I can talk to you a little bit more. So wow you were really close. <laughs> I didn't realize that the camera was that close to my face. Uh, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said this is just kind of an introduction to Manicure Mondays. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this series. Like I said I do a new manicure every single week and I'd like to be able to share with you guys what I am doing with my nails every week so and I had already done my nails before I decided I was going to just go ahead hunker down and do this series so like I said I really hope that you guys enjoy this series I hope you enjoyed this video even though it wasn't as detailed as I would have liked it to be but just know that in the future you're actually going to see me doing my nails and actually see me you know filing them down, shaping them, maybe putting on falsies, maybe doing a color, maybe doing a, a pattern on my own free-handed um, because I do like to experiment and do new things with my nails. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like, give it a thumbs up. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, hit the bell next to it. That's going to give you notifications on when, and the bell is that way. I think the last time, I'm going to screw this up. The bell is over here. I think the bell is over here. Because <laughs> the last time I think I said it was over here and it's actually over here. So <laughs> anyway, subscribe to my channel while you're hitting that subscribe button. Hit the bell next to it. That's going to give you notifications on when I post new videos. I think that's all I've got. So I will see you on the next one.